Welcome back to the MLG pregame show. We are live from Dallas, Texas, and now it's time to give a shout out to all our fans watching on GameBattles.com and GodFrag.com. Yeah, GodFrag TV. It's all good. It's on GodFrag TV. Too. Lee, yeah. Lee, Nexi, joining me, guys. Let's talk. What are we talking about? Nexi, I want to talk about Gears of War. Are you sure you're ready to talk about Gears of War? I think I'm ready. All right. So before we even start really, really talking about Gears of War, I have to give a shout out to. I want to get it right. Dignitas. Dignitas. Uh, say it one more time. Dignitas. I have a <laughs> slur, guys. Two more times. Dignitas. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. You pulled it out. I don't, I don't even care. Do you know who they are? <laughs> no. Fill me in. All European team. They come up from England. Got fourth last event. Guys, an all wait, European wait. team got fourth in Toronto. The Americans aren't taking top four anymore? Guys, Dignitas is here. All right. Well, and they're here at this tournament, too. And I just wanted to say what's up to all those guys. And they're doing big things. The Absolutely. First really successful crossover team coming across the uh, ocean they're dominating gears of war now nexi we all know about halo 3 going into toronto all kinds of team changes i guess we're seeing a similar situation here in dallas texas with gears of war yep. fill me in absolutely well before we start talking about the team changes i'm going to give you a quick rundown meadowlands we saw team infinity the 2007 national champions won the first event orlando went to frag d phenom first time winning an event it was awesome, it was a lot of fun, and Toronto, Insanes, after a long road, they won the third event. So we haven't seen a team repeat yet, but a lot of stuff went down before Dallas. There's a lot of teams trying to get that right lineup for the playoffs, especially the championship where, you know, the money is going to be ridiculous. What's the biggest story? All right, so Infinity dropped Puff. Wait, the, the guys who won Meadowlands? Yeah. The guy who won the 2007 Gears of War National Championship, Mr. Puff. From what I hear, I was talking to the players, it's a little controversial. But, uh, you know, they're saying Puff wasn't as motivated as he used to be. But they had a great pickup. Uh, controversial also, but they picked up Sneaky. Who's that? It, yeah, exactly. He's been to one event. He went to Meadowlands and played second. Good event, but they picked up Sneaky in place of Puff, one of the best host shotguns in the game. Okay, wait, wait. I've seen Puff play. Yep. The kid's just nasty. You drop a national champion, and you pick up a guy who's only been to one MLG event, what's going on through their heads? You know what? I think we're just going to have to wait and see. I don't question their judgment. They're, they're a top team for a reason, and they're the number one seed. All right. Well, that's not all that's going down. No There's way. other teams outside of Infinity. Fill me in. Frag dominant. Went after Puff. Brilliant decision, in my opinion. All the kids are happy for it. They dropped High Distortion. High Distortion actually helped them win Orlando. Dropped them for Mr. Puff, which is actually interesting. Because we're used to seeing Cream. We, we had him on the last pregame show. We interviewed him. Being the host shotgun. The host pretty much is the aggressor of the team. He's the leader. He's always out there before everyone else. It's a big role. We're going to watch Cream step back and hand it over to Puff. So it's like a totally new team. Do you think Cream is ready for that? He's been playing as a host for how many years? You know, you know everyone say Cream is one of the most versatile guys in the game. Uh, he, everyone knows he has a good attitude. They're another top team, and they're a top team for a reason. Well, that's not the only change on Frag Dominant. No, there's more changes. Unfortunately, for personal reasons, Scar called his teammates a couple days ago, heard it through the grapevine, he said he's not going to be able to make it. Yeah, so Frag D had a really strategic move. They went and picked up, um, excuse me, they went and picked up Sneaky's old teammate from Meadowlands, a guy named Bullet. Bullet's coming out of retirement. Drama! A little bit of drama, so <laughs> there's tension going down in the Gears of, War, Gears of War pit down over there. I'm excited to get back over and start watching. All right, well, we got to give a big shout-out to Scar. Scar, we love you. We miss you. We know you're going to be back for Vegas, so best of luck with whatever is going on at home. Now, that's Gears of War. Is there anything more going down? Oh, man, are we, we got Rainbow going on this weekend. You got Rainbow. You know what? That's Rainbow. But I want to talk about WoW right now. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. So this is the final event of the first ever MLG PC circuit season. And Lee, you're the guy behind the scenes on the MLG side making it all go down the whole time. You've been working behind the scenes. What is the big picture? What is the big story of 2008 and WoW here at MLG events? You're probably giving me a little bit too much credit. There's a lot of guys that I go into this event. Who's in charge of, of those guys? Yeah. Exactly. All right, keep going. You are, actually. <laughs> right? That's what's happening over here? I wish. Uh, okay. Right. Well, look, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to Sir Scoots, the guys on Godfrag TV, Baker, Alk, all those guys out there, Mark, Single Coil Turner, Achievement. There's a bunch of people that work really hard and all the refs. So, that being said, this has been a fantastic year. I mean, seriously, we have had literally hundreds of thousands of gamers tune in to watch World of Warcraft 3v3 competition. Wait, say that again? World of Warcraft 3v3 competition. No, 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 the, the, the part oh, with the number. The number? Oh, you want the important information? Yeah. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. 
that's happened over the San Diego and the Orlando broadcast. And that's just not in the U.S. That's all over the world. It's like 111 countries or something. It's crazy. Kind of a big deal. Well, un poquito. All right. Now, the season, it's been crazy on the wild side. We're Absolutely. coming off of Orlando. That was the last time we saw a wild yep. on the circuit. What went down? Well, Orlando was actually pretty important, too, because Orlando saw the first time that a female gamer won first place in a major PC competition. Not just PC. I haven't even heard of it on console. Well, you know, it is what it is, but they won. That team was Ors. They're now here as Fnatic, and that gamer was Meimei Hafu Wong. Their team crushed everyone. I mean, it was decisive. There was, it was no contest, and it was really, really cool to watch. Uh, they're back again here in Dallas, and their top-rated team, which is Warrior Warlock Druid Competition, comp, Team Comp, that's the... Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Warrior Warlock is that over Druid. Your head, way over my head. What does that mean? Fill me in. I'm not a waller. All right, look. At the end of the day, you know... Warrior Warlock Druid. Go. Warrior, Warrior okay, Warlock I Druid. I can't even say it, right? <laughs> I'm in charge of it, but I can't say it. Look, at the end of the day... World of Warcraft 3v3 arena competition is basically Team Slayer, all right? So you've got every, every single player on the team has a different class or a role. Hafu, in Team Fanatic's case, she plays a druid. That druid is a healer, okay? So her job is to heal the damage that comes in Makes during sense. the match, right? Definitely. Help out the teammate. She's the medic. She's the medic, got right? It. So she's also got some other secondary abilities which allow her to take opponents out of the, out of the mix for a very brief duration during combat, okay? okay? So those are called crowd control abilities, right? Her teammates, the warrior and the warlock, they're basically what's called damage healers, right? DPS. So, D, you get, are you those, following those all this? Those be the main slayers. Right, I there got you go. I they're got the you. fraggers, okay? So they're going to go out and they're going to drop everybody else around them. But basically, you've got healers, damage dealers, and crowd control. And everything kind of breaks down into that. Those basic three categories. But otherwise, it's Team Slayer. You're just watching that happen. It's nope. the same thing. Last time I was tuning in, Sundance was kind of joking with me. We saw a flag running around on the back of an elf. What was going down there? What am I watching when I tune into the Wild Street? First of all.